Hi, it's me, Joyce, just talking, just singing. And I'm coming to you, of course, from beautiful Toronto, Canada, here in north of the 49th parallel, where everybody thinks we live in igloos. Well, I think that, no, people don't think that anymore. I hope not anyway. <laughs> We did get a brush of snow, a little dusting of snow uh, the other day. So um, for a lot of people here in Toronto and in Canada, we are, uh, you know, a lot of people are hoping for a white Christmas, you know, written by Irving Berlin, <laughs> who was Jewish. Jews wrote great, great, great Christmas songs. Would you, a lot of people are going to be enjoying this, uh, this season or already they've been playing for weeks now, so enjoy because as soon as uh, boxing day comes they're gone <laughs> okay anyway so enjoy them uh no i won't be singing a christmas song today but i will be singing you something special at the end that i'll in i'll invite you to sing along to because i think you'll really love it it is really a blast from the past um but anyway um you know this past year next year the last the last two years have been so difficult for so many of us and we've been isolated uh, because of, you know what, COVID. That started off as COVID-19. Then we went into 19, you know, 19 from 19 to 20. And then 20 to 21. And now with the new year fast approaching, you know, uh, we're looking at COVID-22. <laughs> and it's gone through its various you know, um, permutations, variants. So we've had Alpha, Beta, Delta, and now we've got Omicron, Decepticon. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a real deal. It's a real virus, and uh, we should never discount that. You know, this is a real thing, and certainly I encourage everyone to get their vaccinations. I know, I know a lot of friends of mine. I have a lot of people I know who haven't had them, and that's certainly their decision. However, you know... Uh, I have to say my, my eight-year-old uh, grandson got his vaccination, and darn it, he wouldn't take that. <laughs> he wouldn't take his Band-Aid off until it basically, I, I don't know, I was talking to my daughter the other day, and she said, she said, uh, Isaac, have you taken your Band-Aid off yet? He, she, he, he said, yeah. She said, oh, thank goodness for that. Uh, she thought that was going to be on there forever uh, because he was he was so happy that he had that, and he was you know, showing it off at school. So uh, I say good for you, Isaac, and um, and anyone else who wants to get vaccinated, certainly it's all going to help tremendously. Anyway, um, so here we are. It's December 2021, <laughs> and, um, and I was talking about the idea that we have been isolated throughout this time, and uh, it hasn't been easy. I mean, I, I live on my own, and that's... Uh, with my cat and she's sleeping on the bed right now having a good snooze but you know it's been hard to see the grandkids and the kids and friends and family and community at my shul and um you know it it's it's hard on people and I you know and what I found a lot of solace in I'm gonna have to say been you know a lot of people uh, it's, it's been the computer you know online social media you know, and of course, a lot of the classes uh, from my shul have been online, and uh, people can attend those. And I'm sure a lot of communities have done that for them, for their, for their people, and for their communities. Um, and that's been wonderful. It's not the same as person, poison to poison, you know, but along with <clears throat> the isolation comes depression, comes uh, you know a lot of the, a lot of mental health issues you know and that's been cited a lot you've heard it on the in the news you know and all over the place people saying you know like the more depressed of course there's a lot more uh, domestic violence there's a lot of things that have cropped up it's kind of like um you know something that's been festering maybe under the surface you know a lot of stuff has been brought above the surface and a lot of people have had so many difficulties not just not to mention the job loss the the, the you know the businesses that have gone under because of this, and uh, whoever's been able to hold on, thank God, you know, Baruch Hashem, as we say, um, so happy that people, a lot of people have been able to hang on, but for those who haven't, it's been brutal, absolutely brutal, you know, I, I understand that, but I want to make this, this, you know, episode today about two particular ladies who have helped me through uh, this, 
this COVID. And uh, it just so happens, <laughs> one of them went online uh, to do her uh, tarot readings. And yes, tarot readings, you heard it coming out of my mouth. But you know, um, uh, my, uh, you know, as you, you know, I come from a background of tarot readers and palm readers and uh, psychics and consultants. So um, I'm very much in that vein as well. The mystical, spiritual side of things, of course, you know, not the hocus pocus malarkey. Uh, you know, I'm not a, a snake oil salesman or, you know, I don't go in for that. But certainly to um, to expand my spirituality, of course, Torah is the most important thing for me and uh I do, I do adhere to that and many, you know, <laughs> as I do. But uh, I don't abuse the, the wonderful gifts that Hashem has given to so many people. And a lot of it is wisdom, great wisdom. And uh, these two ladies, uh, I'll say first of all, um, I'm going to do a big shout out to both of them. Uh, one is uh, Batty. I call it, we call her Batty because it's Battison Intuitive Tarot, but... Um, she likes to be known as Batty, and she's she's a goodie. <laughs> she's a real she's a greatie. <laughs> she's a she's a wonderful lady, I you know and um, <clears throat> and I have been able to I I you know like you go sometimes into a default position where I I I just decided you know I'm going to take a look at these tarot readings online, and um, she's the one I found, and I just liked. The way she spoke to me, I say to me because, you know, for me it seems one on one. It seems very personal, and I, and she's laying out the cards, you know, <laughs> for me. And she's a Leo like me. I'm I'm a Leo. We're a couple of fire signs, <laughs> sizzle sizzle. Um, but, but it, you know, I just like to listen to what she had to say, and you know, a lot of it resonated for me, and it made sense, and it and it sort of helped me sort some things out, you know, and of course, um, not, you know, and of course, you know, they say this is for entertainment purposes, it's not, you know, it's general reading, and uh, may not resonate to ed everyone, and, but what resonated for me was her, Batty, not so much the cards she was laying out, or the messages she was giving, but her delivery, and her sweetness, and her wisdom, and and her and her humor, such a great sense of humor that she has. And um, so I'm going to put the link in the description box for both Batty at Battison Intuitive Tarot, and for the other lady I'm going to mention now. And that would be Susan, who's known as Little Poet. Now, why does she resonate so much for me? Well, she's same age as me. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't doesn't hesitate to say it either. Uh, sorry, itchy ear. What's itchy ear mean? <laughs> I forget. I forget what the itchy ear means. Uh, I know itchy nose is kiss a fool. What's itchy ears? Am I gonna hear from somebody? <laughs> uh, is somebody talking about me? <laughs> anyway, <coughs> just kidding. Um, but Susan, who's that little poet, and I'll put her her link in the description box as well. What I love about her, she's the same age as me, and which is the 66 year age, and uh, she talks about living on her own and and you know how how it is for for us more mature women, <laughs> you know out there, and um, you know she gives a lot of tips. You know she takes she takes me to places like uh, you know shopping, uh, you know at um, at, at shop. She she takes a shopping. <laughs> I can't even say it. I don't know. I, I she, she loves to go to the. Oh my gosh! How do you say? You know, I all of a sudden it goes right out of my head. You know, like uh, yeah, secondhand shops. <laughs> you know, and she takes us to places like that and like to Value Village type places, and she picks up all kinds of beautiful treasures, and then she and clothes and things, which I love. You know, secondhand shops. I I'm I'm a big secondhand person, or you know, sharing things like things that what I'm wearing today. A friend in my building gave me, you know, and it's from Israel and it's absolutely beautiful. And I haven't worn it on, on, uh, on air yet, you know, in my vlogs yet, but I thought oh, today I'm going to wear this. I never wear this. It's so pretty, you know, but, um, she, she has encouraged me to, uh, step out as Batty has. I'm going to go back to Batty for a minute because it's very important. Um, when she first came out to do her tarot reading, she was doing it like 
from the neck down, you know, and, and placing the cards. But I just loved her spirit and her personality and the way she put things and made me laugh. And that was the most important thing, you know. And um, then she decided, you know, she's going to show her face, you know. She was a little nervous about it, too, a little bit of trepidation. But she did. She did come out. And what a beautiful gal she is, too, you know. Even if she wasn't so beautiful, I would still love her because her spirit, her soul, she's a soul. and her so She, as a soul, is a beautiful soul. But um, it was so nice to see her come out that way. And that gave me encouragement to do these vlogs, to come out and to show my face. Because when you're 66 years old, you know, you're not 26 or 36 or 46 or even 56. I looked a lot different at 56, too. 10 years. 10 years is a lot of time. And I feel okay. And so back to Susan, little poet. She she shows us how to look nice. I don't I don't do what she does because she's she's an amazing amazing with her makeup and making it look beautiful and everything. You know, I'm a lipstick and mascara person. <laughs> you know, you know. And I've I've actually penciled in a little bit of stuff on my brows because I basically have no eyebrows. I don't know. They're just so faint. So I sort of pencil a little bit in. You know. But that's about all I do. But. Um, you know, that's me though, you know, I, <laughs> I've i never been a big person for makeup, but she shows us all kinds of things, how to care for ourselves, how, and, 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 and bringing all her treasures home, and she lives with her beautiful little dog, Desi, and uh, Desi's so cute, and uh, the adventures they have, and she talks about her life, and her children, and her, her you know, the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, and she... And like, like Batty, she's very, very sincere, very authentic and warm. And her videos are beautiful. And uh, I would encourage you to, you know, if you're not into tarot reading, it's great. You know, but I, I tell you, just just go go to Batty just to listen to her talk. She's just a sweetheart. And, and, and you may just get out something out of it, you know. <laughs> and um, and I, I, I certainly do. You will get something out of it. Let's put that. You will. And uh, same thing with Susan at Little Poet. She is so sweet. And she's also a singer. You know, um, Susan sings. And she had uh, her start and her career. And, you know, she, she went through stuff, some similar stuff that I went through, actually. Um, and uh, But she here we are at age 66, and we're in, we ain't giving up. <laughs> we're not going to give up, not for anything. And uh, she every every Saturday, I you know she puts out her her um, her blo her vlog, her video, and I love it. I love it every time. And she sits there, and I feel so calm, and I feel so comforted, and so embraced by her love. And the people who follow her, the comments in the in the comments are just, you know, I, I read all these these different comments, mostly from women, because. To be honest, most <laughs> I think women are more apt to come out and do this type of vlog than men, perhaps. Although, uh, you know, there are there are some some great uh, guys out there doing uh, doing vlogs that are personal. But um, these two gals, Batty and Susan, I want to thank you so much for everything that you do, for coming out and 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 showing your authentic selves and being your wonderful selves and uh, helping us to be ourselves as well, you know, and uh, going out bravely uh, to to embrace the world, especially during these difficult times when we're not allowed, able, not allowed, well, sometimes we aren't allowed to see our children because of restrictions, but so that we're able, you know, like to to not feel so alone. And I'm, I'm hoping that, that my, my vlogs are also reaching out to you as well and, and giving you some kind of um, respite, <laughs> you know, because I do talk about um, the mental health issues. And I know I've had people talk to me, you know, in the past. Oh, even, even mental health professionals say, you know, you don't have to tell people that you have a mental, you know, health issue like borderline or well, the things like borderline depression, PTSD, anxiety, you know, you don't have to tell people that, you know, because all of a sudden bling, the wall goes up and nobody wants to talk to you. But that's not true. That is just not true. Not anymore. Not anymore. That is a thing of the past. Bell talks. Okay. So um, 
seriously, we need to continue to talk about things uh, about ourselves, not not in a in a modeling, not in a depressed way, because you know that's not going to help people. But you know, and not not in a fake way either. Like if I not like, oh, I'm fine, you know, like everything's just peachy cool keen, you know. I'm not I'm not going to give you that that person either, because that's that's not sincere, that's not authentic. So, and that's what I like about about Batty and Susan. You know, they had they they talk about stuff. And they're real, and you can connect with them. Anyway, <clears throat> as you know, <laughs> I always sing a song. <laughs> and today, no, I'm not going to sing a Christmas song or anything like that. Although, I'll tell you, I went out into my garden yesterday, the garden for our building. I, I do a lot of gardening around here, and I planted a couple of beautiful lavender uh, plants last this past summer. And, um, of course, the scent has kind of gone down because they sort of froze a little bit. But I still clipped bought some and um i decided to make this uh oops this this little thing i made it with the you know like the 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 produce basket you know from the store i covered it with a little bit of black velvet <laughs> black velvet <laughs> and i had a little burgundy ribbon in my in my place and it looks a little wilty <laughs> it'll dry up like we all are as we get older <laughs> No, we're fine. We're beautiful. This is beautiful. And somebody gave me um, some Ferrero Rocher uh, chocolates, so I just stuck them in there. This is not a, this is a winter basket. <laughs> a winter basket. A holiday idea. <laughs> so there you go. So, hey, Batty, Susan, if, if you're here right now, I could <laughs> offer you a little something. Anyway, and to all of you who are watching, I, I send you my love, you know, and, and, you know, I, I often hear people, I, I was going to sing a song, right, <laughs> back, back a ways back, but I <clears throat> just want to add another thing. Um, you know, when I, I watch uh, some videos and people will finish off and, and just, I love you and everything and you're, I, I really love you and everything, just know, and, and I'm thinking <laughs> for a while they're going like, you don't love me, you don't know me. How can you love me if you don't know me? How can you say, I love you, you know, at the end of your videos and, you know, and thank you for subscribing and da, da, da. And I thought, oh, it's just so I can subscribe here, you know, whatever. But then as I'm doing this video right now, I'm just having this realization. <laughs> I, you know, this is a connection, a relationship of sorts. And we are here to love the world, right? Love each other. And if you're looking at this holiday season, whether it's Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, if you're an atheist, doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> you know, um, Eid just happened. Uh, I know a lot of my Yazidi friends uh, just finished that, and um, my love and and to them, I love I love the Yazidi people. Very good friends of mine. Mirza Nofa, if you're listening. Um, but, yeah, it is peace on earth and goodwill to men and love thy neighbor as thyself. Those are, well, those are Torah values. Those are universal values, universal truths, universal things to live by. So, back to the song. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm a great love of lover of Mary Travers, who unfortunately, you know, it's from Peter, Paul, and Mary. She passed away a few years ago, but I love their music. I grew up with their music, you know, and listening to them and, and singing their songs in school and um, at camp. I, well, not camp camp. I never went to camp camp, but I went out with my, my cousins. I went to camp. Anyway, these are songs that are timeless and beautiful, and I want to sing this one. And if you know it, please sing along. And I know you know it. <laughs> it's very simple. So here it is, If I Had a Hammer. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening all over this land. I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out warning. I'd hammer out the love between my brothers and my sisters all, all over this land. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if I had a bell, 
I'd ring it in the morning, I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land. I'd ring out danger, I'd ring out warning, I'd ring out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all, all over this land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, if I had a song. I'd sing it in the morning, I'd sing it in the evening, all over this land. I'd sing out danger, I'd sing out warning, I'd sing out the love between my brothers and my sisters, all, all over this land. Mm, well, I've got a hammer, and I've got a bell, and I've got a song to sing all over this land. It's the hammer of justice, it's the bell of freedom, it's a song about the love between my brothers and my sisters all, all over this land and world. Ooh, ooh. There you go, and I love you. <laughs> I really do. I do. I love being able to come here and do a vlog. I love the fact that we have internet access, that we can do this, and that it's global. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine world peace. Imagine. Maybe I'll link the song Imagine at the end of this video. That's a good idea. <laughs> thank you, John. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me here on Joyce Just Talking, Just Singing. And for those of you who are, uh, you know, whatever holiday you are celebrating, if you're celebrating Kwanzaa or Christmas or just being happy and it's winter and you're just celebrating Santa Claus <laughs> and a big old Christmas tree with lots of ornaments be happy you know we just finished Hanukkah it our calendar's a little different from uh, the world's and uh, so we had our beautiful celebration just passed sometimes ours coincides with Kwanzaa and Christmas and all the others uh, Eid and but this time, no. <laughs> we were a little early. But next year, who knows? We may, I got to check that calendar. Maybe we'll be synced again. But we're always synced because we are the family of uh, human beings, right? Humankind. We are a family of not just that. Let me finish with that. We are a family of souls, okay? We are a soul on a soul journey. So please, please, please remember that. <laughs> Let's have peace on earth and goodwill towards men. And uh, maybe one day we'll get down to that simple, simple answer. That 42 is the answer to every question in the universe. Punto period. That's it. 42. 42. That's it. 42. Okay? Well, take care. Have a beautiful week. Drive safely. Don't drink and drive. Okay? Bye for now. Thank you so much for joining me.